I'll tell you one thing. It's not nothing. Guards Grabclaw, Goblin Sergeant. I want to talk about the card Nerf War. It's a sorcery from the Hascon promos back in 2017. It costs 3 blue-red, and it has an interesting ability. Fire a Nerf Blaster until empty at target library from at least 2 meters away. For each card knocked off that library, put it into its owner's graveyard, and Nerf War deals half damage to that player. Foam darts only. Now that's all well and good, but there's a bigger question to this. Why does any of this matter? And I can answer that question with two simple words. It doesn't. But it's not like that's ever stopped me before, so let's have a little fun with this. So hello everyone, Jason Marco here, but you can call me Jarko if you want. And I'm here to do a little bit of a, I guess, video series that I've been wanting to do for a while, ever since I first looked at Nerf War as a card. So what's this series going to be about? My plan is simple. I want to see the best nerf blasters to use for the card nerf war. How will I do that? Well, I'll be doing some testing episode by episode to find the best candidate for what you should bring with you if you're allowed to even play this card. So what kind of criteria will have to be met for the blaster to be a part of this testing process? Well, it'll go as follows. The rule zero is that eventually I will break the rules but only after I use some blasters that already follow said rules. The proper rule one is that the blasters I'll be using will be nerf branded. So I can't use anything from Adventure Force, I can't use anything from Busby, I can't use anything that's third party or 3D printed to start off with. The second rule is that I can only use foam darts as written on the card. So I cannot use Rival, and at least to start off with, I will not be using the rockets, but I will be using Elite Blasters, Mega Blasters, Ultra Blasters, and Mega XL Blasters. Now this doesn't mean I'm always going to be using Nerf branded darts, let me tell you, using Elite darts would be hell to try to actually shoot something with. So the changes I'll be making to the dart lineup is that for any darts that use a full length dart, I'll be using the Dart Zone Waffle Darts. For the Mega Blasters, I'll be using the Mega Accu Fakes, and for Ultra, I'll be using the official Ultra Accu Strikes. Unfortunately, Mega XL doesn't have an accurate version yet, but we'll just have to wait for that. The third rule is going to be relating to the deck I choose to actually shoot. I'll be shooting a 100 card commander deck with the 100 cards all in the deck, acting as if the commander probably got shuffled back or whatever. The inner and outer sleeve combination I'll be using for the decks used in this test will be Dragon Shield Matte Outers as well as Dragon Shield Resealable Inners. The reason for that is because it's the decks that I'm most commonly seeing in my playgroup, so might as well go with what to expect. And additionally, I will be using a playmat to have the decks on set atop of, just to make sure that the table surface doesn't interfere with the test. The fourth rule for this challenge involves the capacity of each blaster. I will be using their stock capacities as well as any onboard capacity they have. What do I mean by this? Anything mag-fed, I will be using the stock magazine, or at least the closest I can get to the stock magazine. I'll not slap a big magazine into each one of them, because that's not fair for the initial testing. Later on I could do that, but for now, I'm just going to keep it as its stock capacity. However, any dart holders or magazine holders inherently built onto the blaster, I will be adding to their capacity for the purpose of testing firing until empty, as the card says. The fifth rule is more to help me rather than to help you. The fifth rule essentially is I'm not going to be doing two blasters that are essentially just the same blaster. If they fall under the exact same category and have the exact same internals, unless there's something very specifically different with them, I'm not gonna do a Retaliator and also a Recon Mark II because they're basically the same thing. And the sixth and final actual rule will be that a card to be considered knocked off the library has to be either off the library or tipped over off the library. Why did I differentiate those two? Well, if it's tipped over and leaning on the library and on the table, that still counts as knocked off the library. If it's still sitting like flat on top of the library, but like it's off the edge, that doesn't count. Simple as that. Now there is one key loophole that I will be abusing during these testings. You see, it doesn't say it on the card, but it does say it on the blasters. But the card doesn't specify that the blaster cannot be modified. 
So I will be using some modified blasters during the testing of this, which means at points I might be using half darts. So it will make some of the testing a little bit more interesting. So let's talk about the first few blasters that we're going to do for the first testing of the Nerf War series. First up is the Elite 2.0 Ace. It is a single shot blaster with an onboard stock capacity of two darts. The second and final contestant for today, since this video is kind of running long, is the Ultra 4. It is a single shot blaster with an onboard stock capacity of three darts. With that out of the way, let's move to the firing demo. All right, first off, it's the firing demo for the Ace. And it missed. Well, it didn't miss, it just didn't knock anything off. And for the second fire, it didn't hit. So no cards off for the ace. Second up is the Ultra 4. Now this one, um, as you might be noticing, the, the hardest part is lining up the first shot. But once you get that, it's a little bit easier to get the blaster on point. This one had two really good shots. However, there was a bit of an issue with recording. And you'll notice on the third, third shot that the camera just kind of fell. However, it left the deck looking like this. And after picking up all the cards that had fallen off, I was left with seven cards that came off the library. All right, with our first test complete, we now have our new standings for our first ever episode of whatever I'm going to name this thing. In first place, we have the Ultra 4 with knocking off seven cards and dealing 3.5 damage. Not enough to kill, but it's enough to do a little bit of damage and a little bit of mill, so it's not too bad. And unfortunately, in last place... Also known as second place at the moment, we have the Ace, dealing a whole zero damage with zero cards knocked off the top. Honestly, wasn't expecting much, but still somehow got disappointed. Now the question remains, what blasters do you guys want to see next? Comment below, leave me a like, subscribe, leave me other comments about how my content is and anything else you'd want to see on this channel. Thank you everyone for tuning in, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. This is Jason Marco, signing off. Bye, guys.